Hey everybody, my name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and this is 3D Gaming. 3D Gaming is a segment where I take our 3D printer, we have an Ender 3 3D printer, and I find something to 3D print for a board game. It could be an insert, it could be some kind of bling bling, it could be some kind of assisting thing, you know, whatever it is. The number one thing we like to print is things you put down in the comments. So go ahead and put stuff down in the comments that you want us to print. Do it now, hit that like, hit that subscribe while you're there. Yeah, I said it, I usually put that at the very end of the video, but this time I put it at the beginning, because I'm a rebel. And this week we're gonna print out something for Boom! The Quacks of Quidlinburg, or Von Quacky Von Quackenstein. That's what we call it, because there should be more ducks on this board and on this cover, and there's not, there's no ducks, it's silly. Why, why would you call it quacks? No, whatever, it's a wholly different topic. So we decided to print out little chit holders for this game. So we know anything about the Quacks of Quidlinburg. In the Quacks of Quidlinburg, you are putting different ingredients into your cauldron to try to make a big old brew of a potion. And you have to watch out what you put in there because if you put in too much of one thing, it can explode. There's these little white chits and if you put in a certain amount of those, it will explode. But you're pulling things blindly out of the bag so you don't really know how many you're gonna pull. So it's a good push your luck game. But it's one of the best, if not the best push your luck game out there. It is so, so much fun and we absolutely adore it. And as a weird coincidence, I'm actually wearing this shirt. I did not do this on purpose, but the first time we heard about these little chit holders was over at Lincoln, who is uh, the, this one, the tall one here. We went over to his house and he was printing out these weird shaped things. And we were like, what are those for? And he's like, oh, these are to hold the cardboard pieces in the quacks of Quinlanburg. Because you're handling them so much, they start to get worn out pretty quickly, especially the white chips, the one that are kind of the generic chips that everyone has. Those ones start getting worn out pretty quickly, but you can 3D print these little holders for them. And then all of a sudden, now you're not really touching them very much they have a much more chunky feel and i was like that is cool when we get that game we are super doing that at that point we didn't have a 3d printer so we've had to wait for a while but now that we have a 3d printer we can make them so now we're going to go ahead and make them i'm going to show you what files we found what we had to do to modify them a little bit and then some videos of them all printing and then we will show them in the final phase and then we will talk about whether or not i think it's worth it so let's do it Okay, everybody, so we are here at the Kumpooper, as we usually are, and we're going to take a look at these tokens. So these are the tokens right here made by Candy House. We actually met her at PAX Unplugged, and she was just one of the loveliest people on the planet, and she's actually the one who told us that they had made these. So we've been wanting to print these, these for a while. So here we are. We're going to print them. Yay! And thank you again, Candy House, for designing or actually remixing these. We'll talk about that in a second. These are the different tokens. We have white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and black. And you can see right here, we have the token normally and then what it goes inside. So they're gonna go in this little cavity right here. You can see this is shaped to fit them. They have this very odd, like amoeba bubbly shape. I don't really know why they decided on this shape. Uh, cause this must've been very difficult to design. I don't actually know how you go about designing something like this where there's not really good measurements. It's probably a lot of, probably a lot of messing around. But nonetheless, this is it. I mean, there's not really much else to say about this. This is kind of what it is. You print out as many as you need of each color. Uh, we are going to have to tinker with the size a little bit. Um, as they say that each printer is a bit different and this is a very, very uh, small area that we're working in. So we're probably gonna have to tinker with the size a little bit, but that's okay. The one thing they do here, which is very, very nice, thank you Candy House for this, is tell you exactly how many you need for each. So again, so thank you Candy House for, for designing or remixing these. And I, I keep saying remixes because sometimes people put something out and then someone will go, hmm, I think I can change this or change it for my personal needs or remix it and make it better or whatever your reasoning for. Um, but you should always tag who you're remixing it from. So this is actually remixed from these ones by Zweklos, which I actually have up here. So these ones right here, they took these um, and then uh, changed them and, and, and made them different, you know? And so these ones you can see, they're much, much taller and they have much less of a rim. So they actually remixed uh, these from this. We're gonna go ahead and print these ones from Candy House, one, because we like Candy House a lot, and also is because um, I like the fact that these are not quite as tall. You can see here, they're quite tall on the board and I would like them to be a little bit shorter and that's what these ones are. These ones are quite a bit shorter than those ones. So we're gonna print these out. But nonetheless, it is cool that you can remix things from other people. This is a pretty common thing. But one thing you wanna make sure of is that I believe there is a Creative Commons license that means you cannot remix things. So this one, adapt, um, the share alike means you can adapt, remix, transform um, for any purpose, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and so this has that, and then this one here also has the same, um, way to go, way to go, the same license, but these are Creative Commons licenses. You do need to check these out. And it does here say that you can remix transform these because it's one of the things that they say you can't remix, you can't transform it, legally you can't. So it's something to keep track of. Always look down here at the Creative Commons licenses to see what you're actually allowed to do with it. But nonetheless, we have this over here in our Cura already, like we usually do. Dark mode, dark mode for life. Everyone agree, put it down in the comments. Everyone agrees, dark mode for life. As I said, we're gonna need to multiply these because we're gonna need like 38 green ones. So how you do that is you right click it, you can press multiply selected model. We can put 38 in here. And then it will just, I think I clicked 28 there, but you get the idea. And then it will arrange them for us. So again, if you're in a situation like this where you're, you're not entirely sure if something is going to fit well, um, make sure you're only printing one. You print one out, test it out before you go full hog. Don't print out 38 and then find out that all 38 don't fit. You can see uh, printing one of these takes about 12 minutes. So it's, it's really not that long. You can print one and then check because I am guessing we're gonna have to change the size on these. If you ever need to change the size on these, it's pretty easy. When you click something, this little toolbar comes up. This is where you can move it, where you can put, ah, and move it around and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. You can also click this one right here. This one is scale, so you can put it at like 110% or like 300% to make a giant one if you want to. So this is how you scale stuff. It'll automatically uniformly scale it, which is nice. Um, you can rotate, you can mirror stuff, you can mesh, whatever that means. You can support blocker, which whatever that means. I haven't touched this stuff yet. But nonetheless, you can scale stuff pretty darn easily. You can also scale it by hand if you want to. Um, all of that is up to you. But we're gonna go ahead and print out some test ones, see how we do. Again, thanks Candy House for making these. Um, and let's let's get to printing. Okay, so we got some samples here. And as I've said multiple times, if you want to get into 3D printing, you have to enjoy tinkering because there's a lot of tinkering. You have to be really okay with a lot of failure and you have to be okay with tinkering. So as you can see, these are all the different, uh, you know, biddies to put these um, little tiles in. So now I also one thing that's good to do is label things. So this one right here is the normal one. This is printed at the normal size that it comes in the file. But this does not fit. This is too small. It does not fit in there without me really forcing it in there. So basically what I've had to do now is print out a bunch of different ones at slightly larger scales to see what fits. And so this is why labeling comes in handy and why liking tinkering is important because I have 100%, 105, 106, 107, and 110. So if we go to 110, it's, it's too loose, you know? So it just slides around there, it comes out pretty easily. 105 is also um, too small. I can't get this in there. It's just a tiny, tiny bit too small. So we're gonna go ahead and do 106, which seems like it works pretty darn perfectly. So see it snaps up in there, boom. And then if I want to, I can glue these, but I do not think I'm going to have to because this now like is not coming out of there, which is actually Kind of an issue because I need to, I need to uh, get this out of here somehow because this is not the right color for this one. So I have to find a way to get it out of there. But now I think I'm gonna go with 106 for the rest of these. So again, you do have to tinker, you do have to mess around some stuff, um, but that's part of the fun of 3D printing. And there we go. Okay, so we just printed out all the green ones. Now this one was kind of surprising because you actually need more greens than anything else. You need 38 greens, which I figured the most you need was white, but I guess not. Apparently it's green. So now comes kind of the moment of truth of trying to fit these in here. So I did the orange ones, the pumpkins last night and they fit in there super nice and just look so, so good. So I'm very excited about the pumpkins. So now let's go ahead and try and fit in one or two of these, boom, green dogs. So the color's a little bit off, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and try and do this four real quick, so. I have to flip this bad boy around and boom, right in there. Ooh, that fits nice. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. And that's nice and snug. It's not going to come out. Nope, we're good to go. Okay, okay. So we're doing this thing. And see if we get a good, good snap on the sound. Wow, that wasn't good. Very cool. Very nice. They fit in there great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
All righty, let's go ahead and put the rest of these in here. All righty, and there they are. Man, they look good. Look at that. Oof. So much easier. So now when you're pulling these out of the bag, you're almost never going to be touching this. Maybe a little bit like this, but it's, they're not going to get nearly as much wear and tear as they have. But, oh, gosh, those look good. Alrighty, so here we have the Death Moths, the little black chits, and these kind of cool ones right here. So I put one in here, they look like they are fitting just lovely. So let's go ahead and pop the rest of these in here. Little click. Ooh, it fits so nice. That 106%, at least for us, is the perfect, perfect amount. So let me go ahead and speed this up while I pop all these in here, and then we'll take a look at them. Alrighty, and there we have it. God dang, those look good. Ooh, I like these ones. Yeah, these ones look great. They fit wonderful. But here we go. All right, next one up is the blue ones, and we're just going to keep on going. Death Moths. Hey, everybody. My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murphy, and this is 3D Gaming. 3D Game is a segment where Mike... 3D Gaming is a segment where I take our 3D printer, we have an Ender 3 3D printer, and I find something to 3D print for a board game. It could be an insert, it could be some kind of bling bling, it could be some kind of assisting thing, you know, whatever it is. The number one thing we like to print is things you put down in the comments, so go ahead and put stuff down in the comments that you want us to print. Do it now, hit that like, hit that subscribe while you're there. Yeah, I said it, I usually put that at the very end of the video, but this time I put it at the beginning, because I'm a rebel. And this week we're going to print out something for Boom! The Quacks of Quidlinburg, or Von Quacky Von Quackenstein. That's what we call it because there should be more ducks on this board and on this cover. And there's not. There's no ducks. It's silly. Why, why would you call it quacks? No, whatever. It's a wholly different topic. So we decided to print out little chit holders for this game. So we don't know anything about the Quacks of Quidlinburg. In the Quacks of Quidlinburg, you are putting different ingredients into your cauldron to try to make a big old brew of a potion. And you have to watch out what you put in there because if you put in too much of one thing, it can explode. There's these little white chits, and if you put in a certain amount of those, it will explode. But you're pulling things blindly out of the bag so you don't really know how many you're gonna pull. So it's a good push your luck game, but it's so much fun and we absolutely adore it. So it's finishing up printing and then it should go back over it and then start the ironing. Yes, exactly. Yes. Do the ironing. So again, now it's just melting that last layer it put on because this is the last flat layer before it starts building all of the walls. This is it. These are the biddies. So this is it. This is all of the pieces. There's a lot. Um, there's quite a few, more than you think there's gonna be when you first start printing them. But you saw me printing them out. They turned out really, really great. One thing I started to do though is I've kept a little bit of super glue in the box, a little tube of it, uh, because we had a couple fall out. So it may be a good idea just to glue them all in place right away. We kind of only glued ones that we felt like that really needed it. But nonetheless, this is how they look. There's not really much to say about them other than the fact that they look great. I mean, they look wonderful and stuff. They're nice, big, chunky. Um, they do take up a, a bit more room, which is something um, we'll talk about a little bit later. But nonetheless, they, um, they're quite nice, you know, they just, they they limit the amount that you're touching the, the cardboard piece itself, especially these, these one pieces. But nonetheless, this is what they look like. They look great, they sound great, they feel great. When you have them inside the bag, it just feels way nicer to, to um, you know, to just, to just rummage around in there. It's, it's very, very nice. Alrighty, so we're here at the end, and what do I think? I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious, and I think these are amazing. They're amazing. I've been wanting to do these for a while. We had, again, heard about these. We went over to Lincoln's place, and then Candy House, we actually met at PAX Unplugged, and she told us about uh, these, that that they, her and her, her man, uh, Andrew, had made these, 
and that we should print them out. And then I was like, absolutely, we're planning on getting a 3D printer. We want to start this whole series, yada, yada, yada. Here we are finally doing it. Um, and they're super, super worth. They fit very, very well. You may have to tinker with the size a little bit, which could completely depend on your different printers, but also know that nothing's gonna be perfect because the cardboard of these is not all cut exactly the same. It could be a half a millimeter off, but a half a millimeter in this sense is kind of a lot. And so, You'll have to deal with that a little bit, you'll have to troubleshoot a little bit, but ultimately it's it's pretty easy troubleshooting as far as like tinkering in 3D printing goes. It's really not bad. Sometimes tinkering can take like days and days and days. This one's quick, up the scale a little bit. As I showed, you could do multiple in one try to really hone it in and you'll be fine. 106% is what worked for us. Um, they're wonderful, they're you know, they're they're durable, you know, they're not going anywhere, they're fine, especially when you glue them, they're not gonna pop out. Um, and they just, they feel great. When you're rummaging around the bag, it just, it's just having the click clacky and, and the, it's just, it's a very tactile thing. It's already a very tactile game. And then adding these just makes it so much more so. It, it feels very, very good um, to just, to pull these out and place them down. Um, if there are some drawbacks, I'm being very, very nitpicky, but these are bigger than the normal chits. And so um, you will be a little bit, uh, press for space on the board itself. Not much. It's not bad at all. They still fit there, but uh, you have to be a little bit more precise about where you put them. It's again, it's not a big deal. It's very, very, very minor. And the other thing um, is that they just take up more room, which means uh, when you're putting all the stuff out onto your table, it's already kind of a table hog because you have the main board, everyone has their own cauldron, and then you have all the different bookmarks plus all the different chits around those bookmarks. And these now are, are uh, significantly larger. And so it's gonna take up a more space. It's just more of a table hog now, but it was already a table hog. Personally, I don't think it's a big deal, but it is something to be wary of. The fact that this is going to increase the, the, the blueprint of the game, the footprint rather, um, by a little bit. Not by anything drastic or crazy, but it will um, make a bit of a difference. So overall, I think they're amazing. I think they're wonderful. I think Candy House did a great job uh, remixing them from an old one. Uh, I think they did really, really great. I really like the way they look. Um, we were lucky that we already had the colors to print these in. That's one thing that you will have to be conscious of as unless you want to paint them, uh, you will need multiple different kinds of colors of filament. But ultimately, they're just, they're so good. Oh, so nice, so satisfying. Wonderful job, Candy House. Thank you so much again for making these. Um, and uh, that is going to be it for 3D Gaming. Tell me what you thought about this episode and what you think about these cool little uh, bit holders right here down in the comments. And also again, let me know what you want me to print. I think I'm gonna try and do an insert for Anachrony next. That's the plan. Multiple people have asked for more inserts and uh, multiple people have asked for Anachrony specifically. And so I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna borrow our good friend Crook's uh, version of Anachrony and print him an insert, which is, very nice of me. Um, but nonetheless, I'm doing it for the video ultimately. And that game is a bear to take and uh, to set up and take down. So um, I'm, I'm happy to do it. But nonetheless, let me know down in the comments what if there's anything else you want. While you're down, make sure to like and subscribe per usual. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up help a ton in the YouTube world. Um, and that is going to be it for me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep on printing. Put your prints in the comments. Talk about what you're doing. I love it. You love it. Have a good day. My name is Nick Murphy. I'll see you later. Thank you for watching that video. Just wanted to let you know that we are sponsored by Restoration Games. They make wonderful, wonderful games. And everything we filmed is filmed on top of Game Toppers. Game Toppers is a great way to upgrade your gaming experience. So go to Restoration Games or Game Toppers LLC to find out more. And all that's really, really cool. But you know what's even cooler? This. That's right. I'll show you one more again. Bam. Isn't that cool? Bam. It's cool. But that's the right hand. Let's check out the left. Boom. Quack, 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 quack. That's right, the left is only ducks. Quack, quack. I gotta learn other spells for my left hand. Quack, quack.